If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man. What's good, Stella Gang? It's your boy Apple Glass, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction Channel on 2. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today we're not doing a, um, a reaction. I'm going to do a story time with you guys because a lot of people have been asking me about, you feel me, this specific situation. Every time I'm on live, in the comments, you know, people, people see me and ask me this shit. So I'm going to just give you out a story time about the situation. And yeah, for you derelicts that's gonna comment in the comment section, why you got a blue do-rag and a red shirt? Because I'm in my crib and I could do that, like, it's a do-rag, but I'm not going anywhere. Anyways, so I'm gonna start off, it was, I'm gonna start off the story with, like this, right? It was, it was in, I believe September. Yeah, it was around September or some shit, no. No, it was August 31st. It was August 31st, the day before. You feel me? What? So now, we, I'm, I went outside and shit. I was in the crib with the homies, we was chilling and shit. And it was like, I think it was like Juve was about to be the next day and some shit. You feel me? Yeah, Juve was the next day and some shit. But I'm in the crib and shit. We chilling, niggas sipping liquor mad early. I don't even know why we sipping liquor mad early. We sipping liquor though. He sipping liquor mad early. Niggas chilling woo woo and shit. I'm like, yo, I gotta go get them um them bottles so I can make the nutcrackers. Cause you know what I mean? My my liquor mixtures be fire and shit. So I'm like, yo, I gotta go get the bottles. So I'm in the Utica. I bought the bottles and shit. It was like a hundred bottles for like thirty-five dollars or some shit like that. I bought the bottles or whatever. You feel me? So now I came back to the hub, put the bottles in the crib. Niggas chilling and drinking again. I'm like, yo, it's boring inside. I'm about to go outside for a little bit, whatever. Went outside, linked up with my other men. We and them chilling and shit. Then my, my homies that came back from Jamaica and shit, they brought me back a bottle of Ray and Nephew. You feel me? That was my first time ever drinking that shit. That shit was nasty. But anyway, they brought me back a Ray and Nephew, whatever. So I went to the store now to get Chaser because the shit's so nasty. I went to the store get Chaser. Came back. Chilling, me and my man is drinking shit. I pour my cup, we, we drink whatever. I I I put some chaser in the shit. The shit's still nasty, but the little sips that I'm taking is so nasty. The shit gave me smack. It's gave me smack, but I'm not really feeling it because my mom more on the taste of the shit. Like yo, this shit is dirt. Like you feel me? I'm still drinking this shit though. <laughs> anyway. So now I'm getting sauce. Woo woo. My man's like, yo, um, yo, follow me to the store. You feel me? So not not the store I went to get the chases, another store, a little like a next block down and shit. So I'm like, I right, say that we out to the store. Following them to the store. While we walk to the store now, we run into two niggas. You feel me? I'm like, I see these niggas out there all the time, like on a regular, like they always out there, these niggas be chilling there. Like every day. So, I ain't really think nothing of it. I'm see, I see these niggas, but they start walking into our direction and shit or whatever. So, they went to my mans. They went to my mans. Like, oh, yo, you not good on this block. I'm like, what you mean, nigga, you not good on this block? This our block. What you mean, you not good on this block? You not even from over here telling me you not good on this block. You feel me? Like, he like, oh, y'all niggas can't walk through here. I'm like, niggas can't walk. Watch out, man. You feel me? So I walk through niggas anyway. You feel me? My man's walk with me. We walk him probably took about 10 steps. My man's turned around. He like, yo, these niggas got the strap. You feel me? So he grabbed my hand. So we just start jogging. I, I swear, I probably took like 20 steps, bro. No cap. Cause the ran nephew started beating me, bro. That shit started beating me. Like nigga, my chest burning from them 20 steps. Like, God damn, I feel like nigga. Drunk some motherfucking sand or some shit. <laughs> that shit. That shit was harsh. That shit was feeling crazy. I'm like, nah, son, I'm not running, bro. These niggas don't got no grip. They would have been, been let it rip if they had the grip. So, 
Anyway, I stopped running and I turned around. I'm like, this nigga got his hand in his bag. I'm like, this nigga bluffing. I look, seen the garbage. I'm like, well, I'm gonna whack this nigga with the chair. It's a, gar a chair in the garbage. I'm like, I'm gonna smack dog shit out this nigga with the chair. I grabbed the chair, picked the shit up. This nigga running, feel me? I'm like, I'm about to launch this shit at him. But this shit got weight to it, you feel me? So I like, I waited till I got a little closer to the nigga. This nigga jumps, you know one of them trucks where the back is off, like they don't have the trailer thing on the back, the trailer thing going, so it just like that, the nigga jumped on top of that shit. I tried to launch the chair up there at him and shit. It ended up missing him or whatever. So his mans that had his hand in the bag, y'all won't believe what he pulled out of the bag. Boy pulled out an iron, yo. So my man thought this nigga was going for the grip the whole time. This nigga went in the bag for iron. You feel me? So now, I, I forgot a part of the story, matter of fact. <clears throat> forgot a part of the story. Why that happened? Why they ended up telling us we couldn't walk through the block? I forgot that part. I'm going to get back to this iron shit. Hold on. All right. This is what happened for they end up telling us not, not we can't walk through the block. When they we chilling on the outside, it's mad of us. We chilling on the block. We like probably like 15, 20 deep outside. For me, we chilling, woo woo. So nigga come through the block with his mans. You feel me? He went to one of my mans, like, yo, yo, why you be violating me like I'm soft, son? Why you be violating? Ah, ah. So now everybody paying attention, like, you feel me? Like, why this nigga? We knew the nigga too, but he, he's not like how. We friends with the what with the one that he came and said why he playing with him. We we more close to the one he's like yo why he playing with him or whatever. But we knew who he was. You feel me? The the nigga that pulled up or whatever with his mans. That nigga that nigga goes yo y'all niggas think I'm pussy. He was talking to to like everybody. He was talking to a selected few niggas and shit. I guess an incident happened where they was in the car yelling out so whoop to the nigga and he's. Crip and they know he crip because we all know the nigga from the hood or whatever. So I guess he took that shit as disrespect or whatever, whatever. Now, fast forward now. This nigga, when he came to the block, ended up, ended up rocking it off on my man. You feel me? He rocked it off on my man's because of that situation or whatever. But they was going to fight one on. But the other homies, they wasn't jacking that. So they pounced on him. Spanked him. His mans was with him. His, man, his mans ain't even do, like he ain't even got nothing to do with this shit. They ended up spanking him too. I'm watching the whole shit. I just came from shopping. I got my, my bags in my hand and shit. I'm watching the whole shit. I'm like, I'm not jumping in. I'm not jumping into that shit. It's too many niggas jumping a nigga in the first place. And second of all, like, he came over here as a man trying to fight because niggas disrespecting. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, I'm not jumping in that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Then jump in. A day later now. Maybe I should have jumped in shit. Then a day, day later now, this shit happens now where the nigga said we can't walk through. So so the nigga pulls out the iron now, y'all. <laughs> Yo, I, I wanted to laugh, bro. I wanted to laugh when the nigga pulled out the iron. Because y'all thinking an iron pole. But I'm talking about a literal iron that you iron clothes with. Like a literal iron. This nigga pulled an iron up. I'm like, nah. Boy wrapped the cord around his hand. Like, damn, I wish I had, wish I had a cord so I could show you. Let me see. Let me use this cord, for example. Hold up. Hey, let's use this charger cord. This nigga wrapped the cord around his hand like this. And he had like the iron like this. You feel me? So my man, he pulling up on my mans. The nigga said like this. Hit my man's over the head with the iron. Boom! My man's like, oh shit. Nigga pulled it back. I'm like, yo, first of all, how the fuck you let this nigga hit you the second time? Why would you let him hit you the second time? That nigga swing this shit. But I guess the first hit really dazed my man's. I see my man's head bust. So nigga leaking this shit. I'm like, oh, nah. So I run into the nigga now with the iron. I'm running up on the nigga. While I'm running up on the nigga, the nigga. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> to bust my head right here. But my adrenaline, so like my adrenaline rushing. When he hit me, it was like, uh, still ran to a corner. <laughs> when I rocked him now, like the iron dropped on the floor. It ain't, the cord ain't drop out his hand, but the iron dropped on the floor. You feel me? And he would have had to pick the cord up to pick the iron, iron back up. So he he just let the whole shit go. So I rocked him again. Boom! He tried to throw his hands. I started eating. Boom, boom, boom! Cooking him now. The nigga got more size than me. He grabs me. He tussled me, tussled me, tussled me. Uppercut this nigga. Get off, get off me. My man's in the corner. I'm looking at my man's. My man's in the corner leaking. My nigga. He could verify the story. People in the neighborhood could verify the story because there was mad people outside when that shit happened. The niggas was derelicts too. Anyway, mad people outside, whatever, watching this shit. I'm, I'm tussling with son, tussling with son. Nobody tells me, yo, watch your back. Nobody. Nobody tells me, watch my back. While I'm tussling with this nigga, trying to get this nigga off of me, the same nigga that I threw the chair at before, he came off the back of that truck. He had a knife. Nigga ended up stabbing me in the back, right? I stabbed in the back right here. Feel me? Nigga stabbed me in the back, and I had to get my stomach open. A lot of people be thinking the nigga did this to me. Nigga did not do this. This was just for the, from the surgery. Nigga stabbed me in the side, you feel me? In the back, whatever, side, back. Yeah, you feel me? But the reason why he was able to stab me because I had his mans, and you feel me? Niggas tussling and this shit, but I got his neck. His mans want to slam me, but I have him in the chokehold and shit. Feel me? So I wasn't going no way. You feel me? If he would, he would have to slam himself. So whatever, we tussling, the nigga pokes me. Huh! But I think, I'm thinking, at the time, I was thinking the nigga punched me in the rib. So I ended up now getting this nigga off of me, finally got this nigga off of me. I turn around, now I'm about to cook this other nigga too. I'm like, I'm about to spank both of these niggas, you feel me? Cause my adrenaline rushing, mind you, I'm off the, the Ray and Nephew and all that. So I'm just, I'm super zooted, bro. Like, let's let's get it, you feel me? So I turn around and get it with nigga, and nigga runs around. For me, I turn around, this nigga went and poked my mans. I, like, I seen him swing at my mans, I'm like, Yo, this nigga poke this nigga too. Try to catch this nigga, you feel me? Watch out run. Feel like a cramp in my side type shit. I'm like, yo, this nigga, this nigga caught me with a nice little rib shot, you feel me? I, I felt that shit. So now when I move my hand, my peripheral caught blood. I look, bro, I look at the side of my shit. Like, it's like water, bro. The blood just jumping out that shit. And I'm guessing because it's hot, I'm off the Ray and Nephew, and I'm doing too much activity. You feel me? Anyway, now the nigga stabbed me, whatever. Nigga runs off. His man's run off. You feel me? I'm like, all right, say that. I'm going to catch niggas. When I catch niggas, it's lit. You feel me? Because I got stabbed for some shit. I ain't got nothing to do with it. And the funny part about it, fast forward to modern day, today, right? <laughs> I said that shit like that shit happened in, in, in the 50s and some shit. But anyway, fast forward today, the, the dude that, that stabbed me recently commented in my comment section. Like, he trying to be funny. He like, um, yo, tell, tell niggas. No, no, that's not what he said. He's like, oh, um, he's like, yo, good looking for not snitching. You a real one for that, right? But the laughing emoji shit try to be funny. He like, he like, he like, yo, come outside and play or some shit like that. He trying to be funny and shit. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, I see shit. I'm like, yo, this nigga's corny as hell. This way you know when clout is like, clout is like money to niggas now. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas rather people know or notice them. Than actual money, bro. Because why would you comment, bro? Why would you comment that you, like, like you basically, you feel me, snitching on yourself in the comment section? Like, you think the police don't read the comment section? And if I wasn't a real nigga, I would have left that shit there. I deleted the motherfucking post. You feel me? I deleted that shit. I'm like, this nigga's a rat. And now I know this what you trying to do. You trying to make it known that me and you got an issue. So something happened to you. Yo, bro, in my day to day, you not even a factor. It's only a factor if I see you. You not even a factor in my day. I don't even think like, bro, 
I seen this nigga. This why I know this nigga's a bitch, and he would snitch if it was the other way around. I seen this nigga in jail. You feel me? We in jail, whatever. I will come back from the mess hall. He was. I really seen him before we went to the mess hall. I seen this nigga in the. I could see him through the bubble. You feel me? In the next crib, see this nigga or whatever. I'm like, oh, this nigga, this nigga right there. Oh, I'm about to go in there after chow. So we come back from chow. Mind you, I'm new intake, so they don't know my face yet. You feel me? So I'm telling them I'm, I'm in that other crib. This nigga comes. Nah, he don't live in here. Nah, he kept. I'm like, yo, this nigga's a rat. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna catch him in mess hall tomorrow. Go to mess hall the next day, that nigga not dead. I asked niggas in his crib, niggas like that. Yeah, that nigga packed up. I'm like, wow. Fast forward, come home. I'm with my girl and her sister and my son. We chilling in front of the shorty building, whatever. This nigga, guess who comes walking down the block? I turned around, I seen him, but he ain't recognized it was me. I seen him, I turned back this way. I'm like, yo, hold my bag real quick. I told my shorty, hold my bag. But my shorty, it's like, she seen that I'm about to do some shit. She like, nah, I'm not holding nothing. I'm not holding nothing. I'm like, yo, what you doing, son? Her sister ended up grabbing the bag for me, like, so when I turned around now, she done made it so hot that the nigga was already paying attention to her. So I turned back around now, the nigga like at least five steps away from me, you feel me? I turned back around, the nigga seen my face and just turned. Me, me. Beating up the, I'm chasing this nigga, running behind this nigga, running behind this nigga. I got a bow maze, my usual shit fitted so I couldn't really run. Running behind this nigga, huh, huh, huh. I'm tired of shit. Running by this nigga, this nigga runs on a car. Word to my mother, word to everything I love. This nigga runs on a car. I'm like, yo, I'm running on the car too. Behind this nigga, chasing this nigga. This nigga end up getting further and further and further away from me. I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna catch this nigga. For me, if I had some sweats and some shit, I would call him, cause I could run. You feel me? I'm like, damn, son, this nigga got away. I say no more. You feel me? I jumped on him. I jumped on one of my men's bike. Went to the direction he came. I ain't see him. So I'm like, I right, say no more. I'm gonna catch him another time. Mind you, me and like ten of my niggas, we coming from the liquor store, bro. Niggas crossing the street. Regularly crossing the street. I see this nigga. But I at first, like I'm in my phone. You feel me? And he's walking my direction. We on in the crosswalk, bro. I pick my head up. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad excited to see him, you feel me? I'm like, oh shit. All my niggas turn around, what happened? I'm like, yo, this is the nigga that stabbed me. I got the bottle of liquor in my hand, you feel me? I wrap this shit. This nigga takes off. Me, me. I, this time, I'm wearing the right shit. So, it wasn't no dipping on me. The nigga took off, and I'm right on his ass. The nigga see how close I am? He cut into the corner store. Phew! Went right by the camera, under the camera. Do what you gotta do. Right under the camera, do what you gotta do, and that's why I say sometimes a lot of niggas that's doing the street shit, they just be doing it for a name, they just doing the shit for no reason, no cause behind it. Cause look at you, you such a bad man, you want to stab people, and then you running on camera being a snitch. Niggas ain't snitch on you. My man's got stabbed, I got stabbed. We ain't snitch. Niggas held it down. Nobody ain't tell. I knew who stabbed me, nigga. I know who stabbed me. You know I know who stabbed me. I ain't tell. It's been years. You ain't get questioned about it. You feel what I'm saying? But you running on cameras and then you coming in the comment section talking crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Y'all little niggas got to stop trying to be gangster, bro. You feel me? I'm saying little nigga. He, he, he like my age, but I'm saying little nigga because that's, that's his role in the street. A little nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Because only little niggas do shit like that. You gon' you gon' you gon' put in some work and then run on camera. That's some snitch shit, bro. So basically, you saying if I came on the camera and did something to you, at least they knew who did it to you, right? Like, that's crazy. You a rat. You a rat for that. And anybody that's rolling around with you shouldn't even be rolling around with you, cause if you get caught up for some serious shit, you gon' snitch. Cause you did it in jail and you did it in the street. You ran on the camera and told the CEOs I wasn't in the crib. That's rat shit. So two times you ratting, nigga. You a rat. You you on some six nine shit, and then you boasting and bragging. I would never boast and brag about doing some shit to an innocent person that got nothing to do with nothing. Like oh, I right, that nigga knew a nigga. Oh, he would be around the niggas that nah, nigga. I don't get no no pleasure in that shit. I only care about doing something to somebody that do something to me. I defend myself. I don't go outside looking for it. I defend myself. You do you try to do something or you do something to me. I'm gonna you feel me. I'm gonna. 
retaliate, basically. But at the end of the day, that's the story, y'all. If y'all want to see more story times like this, if y'all rocking with this, let me know. You feel me? Comment in the comment section below. You feel me? And I, I mean, I got a lot of stories I can tell y'all and shit. You feel me? This is actually a true story. This ain't no made up shit. This really happened. This is exactly what happened. You feel me? But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. It's your boy, the class. After you subscribe, remember this. Whenever you watch my videos, it's all jokes, man. You gotta come over here and get a laugh. Don't hate me because I gave you a low rating. Hate yourself because you ain't make a fire song. Haha, <laughs> it's your boy BMG, man. Good. Bow!